Anish ji, it was wonderful uh, reading your uh, brilliant work, Let the Mud uh, Settle. I was very fortunate to go through some of these paragraphs and uh, I was very, very impressed the way you uh, covered uh, the stories of human struggle and you also very loud and clear captured what challenges today's youth, even matured audience. One of the themes which I was very fascinated uh, was the subject called listening. It's very unfortunate that in corporate world in particular and equally in society, uh, we do not pay much emphasis on listening. We are, we, we are too obsessed with speaking. And in fact, in education system also, the students are encouraged to be a good speaker. Um, very rarely we train people, teach people how to be a great listener. I was fascinated and one of the things which you shared in your uh, book is this concept of listening being involuntary process. I think it would be wonderful if you could build on this particular theme. Yes. So first of all, uh, thank you Dr. Saab for taking time out to read the book. Uh, I know you are very busy and you have tons of material to read, but you took time out to read this book. Um, so it's like since, uh, you know, college days I've always observed and seen, you know, you walk on the street and there are institutions called communication skills. And as you rightly said, most of the education institution and the whole world, even as parents, we want our children to speak better, to be able to communicate. And for us, communication only means speaking. See, that's the point we miss. We think communication only means the way I speak and express myself. While I'm saying communication is a two-way process. Absolutely. Listening is as important in communication as speaking. Probably, and I'm saying probably, no corporate runs a program on listening. You might not have seen any institute who uh, does a training program on the art of listening. And I think communication, when we talk about communication, listening primarily is about 70 to 80% of that. Agar hum sun hi nahi pa rahe attentive ho ke, to hum bol kaise sakenge? Hum apna, apne aap ko rakh kaise sakenge? Apne, apne vachan se, apne waak se. So I think that's what I'm talking about here. And also I'm creating a distinction between hearing and listening because you see ears are always open, unlike the mouth, which is always closed. So maybe there is a signal that our speaking is has less role in communication and our hearing and listening has more role in communication. A, B. Just hearing is a very involuntary process. You want it, you don't want it. The sounds are falling on you, on your ears all the time. When you So this I'm calling an involuntary process. But when you choose to pay attention to any involuntary sound, it becomes listening. So right now, while we are speaking, there are birds chirping outside. There's a, you know, sound of the fan happening. Mm. This is part of your hearing involuntary. But out of all of these sounds, you are choosing to pay attention on this that I'm speaking. Mm. It has become listening now. So from involuntary hearing to voluntary mm. listening and paying attention. And I, I think... In this modern world, in this yuga, across all age groups, I think this is a very, very critical component. Absolutely. Are we able to listen? Building on what you are uh, sharing, one of the thoughts which was coming to my mind, listening to you, was, you know, quite a few years back, you know, in one of the corporate training, where we were providing training inputs on listening. Uh, I remember a trainer talking about five-star listening. Achha. And what he was saying, the first star is uh, when, when you are listening with one ear. Hmm. The second star is you are listening with both ears. Achha. Third star is when you are listening with your eyes. Hmm. Hmm. Because listening is not only through your ears, but your through body, Correct. eyes. And the fourth star was when you... Uh, when you are listening with this thought process, what is in it for me? And the fifth star is what he is trying to say. 
So listening is primarily, I mean, that's what one process, five-star listening, is being other-oriented rather than self-oriented. So maybe you would like to build on that. So I've not looked at it from the star perspective, but my perspective is actually, if I have to put the star rating, I would say the fifth star, the highest form of listening, listening would be when you do not think while listening. So let's say if I'm speaking something right now and your mind is interpreting into right or wrong, yes or no, is this person coming from this space or that space, then you see you miss the absolute listening. Or I might be getting ready for my next question. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So we are saying five-star listening, I would say, is that where you're absolutely 100% attentive in that moment about what is being said. Then you take a pause, reflect back, frame probably your next question. But in that moment, you do not allow your mind to go anywhere else. That, I would say, is a five-star listening because you're there. You're not allowing your mind to go anywhere else. You, your attention is 100% on the listening. So This is magical. So listening is primarily surrendering to others. Absolutely. Absolutely. In that moment. So you can agree or disagree later. But in that moment, be there and, and absorb it totally. And if you're able to do that, in my experience, I've seen that you're able to really gain a lot of experience just by listening. Yeah, I've, something which I've not written in the book, but I would like to say is, so there's a way. So for an example, your 70 years of vast experience of life. If one hour I just sit and listen to you attentively, you know, I can really take the entire wisdom from you in that one hour. And in that process, I've gained 70 years of Wiseness in that process is just one hour. But it is quite a meditative process. You have to really sharpen this process of listening. That takes me to a very primary question. Is that what uh, teachers, parents, educational institutions, corporate leaders can do to build this capability of listening? As you said that not enough work is happening. What do you think uh, can be and should be done so that this listening quotient improves? So my suggestion would be, first of all, we must not do multitasking while listening. So you see, we are listening to music, having a cup of chai, having a conversation along with it. Now, are we enjoying the cup of chai? Are we listening to the conversation or are we listening to the music? Because your mind cannot grasp all three things simultaneously. So I actually advise a lot of friends that to build this listening, take small steps. So let's say, take out 10 minutes a day where you play your favorite music. Just sit and listen to that piece of music. In that 10 minutes, you're not walking, you're not doing anything else. You're purely listening to that piece of music or song or whatever that is. If you start to do, take these as devices, or techniques, you see, now, once you've perfected that, and somebody's saying something, you're just not listening to the words. You're also listening to the bhav. You're also listening to the intention. You're also listening to the space from where the other person is coming to. So it becomes a very holistic process. But yes, you need to build from small. One act of listening at a time. And I, I would suggest... People should do this as an exercise. Listen to a favorite piece of music for 5 to 10 minutes, just there. 24 hours, if you do that once, over a period of time, either even if you're a student, you're a college-going person, you're a youth, you're in the corporate, this really does phenomenal work. That's brilliant. See, life's resolution lies in very simple processes. Life is not complex. That's what I'm talking in this book. If you allow the mud does get settled because of the simplicity of the process of life. Wonderful. That was great listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you, wonderful. Thank you very Absolutely much. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, in a very short conversation, you have been able to distill the spirit and the soul of being. 
and also respecting others. Yes. Because that's where the journey starts. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you for thank this you. time.